Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Factorio. We need to get some more uh, copper production going. Uh, we are not uh, mi mining not enough copper and we do have some miners, so let's just go do that real quick. But what we actually want to be doing in this episode is go killing some biter bases. But before we do that, let's just set up this uh, copper mining so that we have that going. And then it's uh, biter killing bases, uh, biter killing time, because we can't li live with them. Uh, it's just becoming more and more obvious that uh, biters and us are not compatible. Whoops. So, and we need to move this power pole. Like that. All right. So all of this is going. Just need some. Uh, almost all. There. All. Need some. Uh, whoops. Um. Uh, belt. And we will put this in here. I'm not sure how efficient that is actually. That's very inefficient. So let's just do like this. Uh, there. And get rid of all of the excess copper that we have in our inventory now. <clears throat> this should help our uh, copper Take production quite a bit. Oops. Right. Because not producing enough copper plate is going to slow down our uh, ammo production, which is not great. So let's just make sure that we have that. Then I want to grab a few turrets. Let's just grab a stack. Uh, and some ammo. Let's grab everything. And what we could do actually is make a car. We need eight engine units. What do we need to make engine units? We need steel, iron, and pipe. Which we can make pretty easy. We already we can just grab the steel and the iron gear wheels, and the two pipe. We can just make a handcraft. Let's just make a car. Uh, and get some engine unit production going, real quick. There, we want to make uh, engine units there, and you need those, those, and those. All right, <clears throat> let's just uh, grab half of it and make one more. Uh, engine unit there, and you need that, 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 and Where's, this? Where's the pipe? That. All right, so you have one done, two done. And what else did we need for the car? Just some steel plate and some iron. We have iron here, and we have some steel plate down here, which I think we also need to increase, increase production of. I think maybe we are not getting enough coal. Uh, we need definitely need to get some more coal. Uh, you've got two more. That's four. You've got two. That's six. Seven. And eight. So let's just tear that up. And now we should be able to make a car. Standing. All right, 
and of course it's uh, getting dark now but that is probably okay uh, it's a little hard to see in the dark so i think we'll wait until it gets light to go and uh we'll bite her so i just want to go check on the steel production here and it's actually not coal it's iron that we're running low on look at that we basically have no iron coming in so we definitely need to get our next iron patch going sooner rather than later so this is out this is out this is out so everything is out there is basically no resources left for us to grab over here so yeah look at that we are more or less out of iron on this patch so we definitely need to get iron up and running in the next episode that's for sure <clears throat> more iron and copper is looking okay now and we have daylight so let's uh Put our car down, give it some fuel, and give it some ammo. Oops. There. And get in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down and kill this base, probably this base, this base, this base, and over here to kill our biggest problem base, that one, or these two up here. But first things first, this one down here. And I'm going to do some chart creeping uh, because that just seems to be the most efficient way of whoops, of killing biters. So let's uh, stop the car here. And whoops, some turrets down. And then maybe one more for that big blob of... Uh, Spiders down there. Let's go get them. All right. That's the first of them. Here come the rest. All right. Let's move a bit closer. Let's uh, actually make some repair packs. So we'll park right there. Actually, that's a bad place to park because we can't see the car and all of those biters. Or I can't, at least. I'm colorblind. Uh, all right. Let's pull those guys. And then move closer. Grab these guys up and I actually think that now we've done that we can just go kill everything with the car if we don't hit rocks on the way. Uh, we did hit, we hit rocks again. Come on, get out of there. There are a lot of rocks around here. Uh, let's just uh, get out. Whoops. Uh, let's get out and repair this bad boy before we destroy it and waste all that time. But the the worm is dead, so now it's just killing the the spawners here. That's done. All right. First base down. Let's move on to the next one. There's so many rocks around. All right, so the next one is here. This is a bit more tricky. There's five worms and five spawners, it looks like. Uh, but let's get some turrets down. Uh, don't 
kill my turrets, please. And then what I want to do is get far enough forward that I can kill the worms with the turrets. And then damn it, they're not close enough. Let's pick it up. Right, let's just inch closer here. Turn those down. And then we can hopefully get close enough to the worms and kill them. There we go. That's at least some of them. And I can kill this one. And I can kill this one over here. There. Back in safety, and I'm thinking that I can just take these guys out. It's night time again. Where are the, are the biters down there coming from? You see that? Biters came from down here. Maybe they were just hanging out down there. All right. That's another base down. Let's repair our turrets and move on to the next one. And where's the car? The car's there. And let's go. It's a little bit dangerous driving at night, but it is what it is. Let's uh, go up here. A place that's here somewhere. Where is it? And get out. All right. That's the worst of the biters done. There are three three worms up here tear these ones down and let's get to it Alright, we got most of the spawners. We need still to have the three worms to deal with. Um, but that should be doable. And now they have spitters as well, which is not great. Uh, so let's do this. Alright, done. That's another base taken care of. And let's move on to the next one. Which will be the one up here. And there are quite a few uh, Spiders there already. Okay, that has four, four, four worms and five spawners. All right, let's grab these worms or these uh, biters and kill them. And then we can move in. I actually think I can just kill this thing. So that's one spawner down, making things a bit easier. I can kill this thing too. That's another spawner down. Again, making things a little, just a little bit easier. Then we can move up and 
put down some turrets there. Grab these ones. And move up again. Put some turrets down here. And They're gone. Alright. Good, good, good. Let's get these guys repaired up. That was close that we lost those. But as long as they don't die, I'm happy. And the, the biters do, of course. Alright. One more base taken care of. Uh, let's. Uh, I think I want to do this one out here as well. Just for good measure. Uh, this isn't too bad. Two worms and three spawners. Let's just go in there and get it taken care of. So, yeah. And. Uh, There we go. There are these guys. All right. This is going pretty well so far. But <clears throat> we have left the biggest challenge, I think, uh, to last, which is these guys over here. What we do have going for us over here is that we have, our wall is pretty close. So maybe we can pull all of the fighters down to the wall and kill them there and then go get the bases. Which is going to be my initial plan anyway. Uh, it's a little bit hazardous being parked out here, but that's fine. All right. Uh, let's... Uh, I think I want to grab the ammo out of this habit. Let's go have a look up here. Uh, it looks like there has just been an attack, maybe. There's a lot of biters up there. Here these guys come. Take care of those. I hope. Yes. Uh, let's uh, set up a front line here for now. And we can pull fighters down here. I think these turrets will be able to deal with this together with me. Yeah, no problem. Alright, let's. Uh, Move a bit closer. Get rid of those. And let's see, what do we have here? Five spawners and two worms, and over there we have three spawners and one worm, I think. That is not too bad. Man, this itty bitty base has done so much damage to us. Ridiculous. Uh, that's one worm down. That's two worms down. We did also lose some turrets though. Just repair the ones that we have left. And go kill this thing. And that thing. All right, uh, there's a throng of uh, biters up here, so let's go get those. <coughs> Excuse me. Let our turrets take care of them. I don't want them settling new bases. All right, so Let's 
move over here and put down a line there and basically we just need to move in a little bit closer there and that should do it fantastic All right, so we have cleared out uh, quite a few biters. Uh, our biggest threat for sure has been cleared out. Uh, let's see, is there, it looks like there's a biter up there just hanging out on its own, two biters. Let's just take them out. There, all right. So yeah, that was a pretty good clear out that we had there. I'm amazed at the amount of uh, attacks and the size of attacks that those few spawners and stuff could do. Put a mass, it's crazy. But we have uh, secured some crude oil here, uh, which is great because the next step is going to be getting oil going. There is. A big oil patch up there as well i noticed uh, but we'll start out with this one uh, and there are biter threats over here as well which we will want to take care of and down here but for now we have taken care of the most pressing concerns mainly this base and the ones out here so that is really really good so that's going to be it for this time next time i think we will start uh, we'll, we'll definitely be setting up uh, iron because we need to we need to to get more iron production going that's for sure and i also think that we will uh, probably set up some uh, uh, or at least start setting up oil production so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time